Hello, my name is Lindsay Amos, and today I will be describing the proper steps of service at a casual dining restaurant. So when a host first shows a guest to a table, the server should not take more than two minutes to arrive to that table. Um, after about two minutes, the guest begins to get a little antsy and they start to wonder where their server is, which that is not a great first impression. Once um, the server arrives to that table, um, the server should give a proper introduction of themselves by introducing their name and also letting the guests know that they will be well taken care of as they dine in. After the introduction, a server should um, offer a specific drink. So instead of saying words like, what can I grab for you to drink today? You should use words such as, would you like to start off with a light switch lager beer or a Alabama sunset cocktail drink? So um, giving specific items on the menu um, let's a guest know that you are knowledgeable about that menu and also um, that they are more willing to um, go ahead and order that specific item. So after um, you grab their order or their appetizers, if they want appetizers, you can go ahead and ask them about those. Uh, I know a lot of guests at BJ's, they already know their entire order because they are regulars. So it is okay to ask a specific drink and ask about a specific appetizer at this time. Now, once you grab that order, it should not take more than two minutes for a server to get back to the table and drop those drinks off to the guests. Um, after about two to three minutes, that's just a long time for the guests to be waiting for drinks at the table. So right now I am going to demonstrate the, those steps of service to you. Hello, my name is Lindsay Amos and today I will be taking care of you. Um, would you like to start off with a light switch lager beer or Alabama Sunset cocktail drink today? I would like the beer, please. Okay, great. It's a really great beer. Um, would you also like to start off with any calamari or nachos for an appetizer? The nachos would be great. Okay, great. They're really great. All right, so as you can see, um, because I offer nachos and because I offered the beer, my guest was willing to go ahead and order those items on the menu. Now, um, once that is in, you should make sure that you always grab refills for your guests um, consistently as they dine in. You do not want a guest eating food at the table and they don't have anything to drink there. Um, you also, after the appetizer has been at the, arrived at the table, or maybe even a little bit um, before the appetizer arrives at the table, your guest is usually ready to order your, their entree meal. So um, you should go ahead and ask if they are have made their selections for their entree meals. Now, um, once you grab their entree meal, you can talk about to your guests about um, different programs offered. Um, I know BJ's, we have a loyalty premier rewards program that saves money for our guests. And I like to offer that to them so they can get um, coupons on like uh, free appetizers and coupons or discounts on their ticket. So this will be a great time to talk about promos and things like that while they are waiting for their entree meals. Now, once the entree meals come out, you um, allow the guests to a few minutes to um, taste the food and see if they are, are okay with it or need anything. So after the food um, hits the table, uh, t about two and th after about two or three minutes, you should go back for a um, the guest check just to see if they need anything and if they are enjoying their entree meal. Now, once again, you do not want never, you do, you never want a guest to not have any drinks. So refills, refills, refills are 
super important. Now, once the guest has finished their meal or almost or, or is almost done with their meal, you can ask about a specific appetizer, or not appetizer, but a specific dessert. So um, at BJ's, we have um, Hazuki's, which are warm cookies with ice cream on top of them. And we have several flavors like um, chocolate chip, salted caramel, um, white chocolate macadamia nut. So I like to offer my favorite dessert, the salted caramel. And um, a lot of the times the guests ask what that is and want to know more about it and eventually want to order a Hazuki. After they are um, finishing their dessert, um, you a server should go ahead and place the check at the table. And once the cash or the card is in the check, you should go ahead and cash them out and place the check back at the table or in there specifically in their hands and also um, provide a sincere farewell to your guests by saying words like thank you for dining in with us tonight i hope you had a great experience or um, i hope to see you again and i hope you have a great evening things like that but um, the, most important, the most important thing is to make sure that you thank the guests for dining in because they could have chosen any restaurant to dine into. And yeah, that is it. And um, thank you for listening to my demonstration and my discussion about um, casual dining restaurants.